All right, welcome to Strider Tree Gear. Today we're doing a little review and a demo product demonstration for the CMI Rope Jack. Once again, we're not sponsored. This is just a tool I've bought and it's become one of my favorite tools for doing tree work on the daily. So why don't you come with me, we'll check it out. All right, so here's the rope jack. I wanna show you guys how it goes on. I've got a, uh, an ultra sling here with a ring around the tree, a little carabiner. You hook it onto the rear um, ascending device, so sort of, or the one-way cap project capture device. Then you take your rope, lay it into the two of these, just like that, and then release those catches. And now it's stuck. Pull the slack out. And I've got it locked off on the other end. So as I pull on that, I'm adding tension. And now, I've got enough tension here, I could probably stand on this. All right, so I've just kind of been a knucklehead and I tension this way too much. Um, and it's locked off at that end. So I wanna show you how I can actually keep the tension in the rope um, and still get this off. So I went and taken a, a wrap around the tree with the slack end of this, and I'm gonna pull this really hard, and I'm gonna capture that slack here with, with, this, uh, with the wrap, and I'm gonna release the lower, the lower um, project capture, uh, progress capture, and I'm gonna hold this, now I've got slack, as I release the tension, this sucker should pop right off of there. Get the one free. There we go. So now my rope is still tensioned really tight and I've got it and now we can follow the tree, I can lower the branch, whatever it needs to be. All right, so to give you some idea of how hard this thing is pulling, I'm gonna go ahead and put a, a wrap on my porter wrap here. And then we're gonna give the groundy, which in this case is Hosea, our cameraman, he's gonna hold on to the, the free end of this and I'm gonna jack on the other end of this and we'll see if I can't pull him through the porter wrap even with a full wrap of friction on this. So another way that I use this particular device is for lifting branches. So recently I had a branch that failed on a house. It actually was the, it was split and it was forked and, and it was sitting on two different rooftops. Um, so I set two lines, two pulleys up in the, up in the tree. And I had two of these lifting systems to add tension. And I would go back and forth between my two porter wraps with the rope jack in order to add tension. We lifted this branch off this house and we're able to maneuver it down safely. And so I want to demonstrate kind of how that works. So I've shot a line up and over the tree and I've got this rigging line with a pulley uh, block on it. So I'm going to pull my lifting line up into the tree and then we'll lock it off here. This thing off here around the tree. So I've got my virtual lifting situation. I've got a pulley up there and I've got this bag of rope. Um, so what I'm gonna do here, just as I would be if I were gonna try to lift this branch, I'm gonna put a little wrap on the porter wrap. I'm gonna throw a wrap around here. And now if I were just to sweat this, you know, I pull here and I slip that out. I pull here and I slip that out. Obviously I can lift this bag, but if there's much more weight than that, um, then that gets to be really difficult. And that's where this device comes in handy. So I wanna show you that here. Uh, and we're gonna use my lovely sister-in-law uh, to help me demonstrate. So I put a little soft shackle on the handle of the rope jack here. And now I'm gonna mount that onto the porter app with one hand. Ah, okay. And then put this on here, lock that on. 
And so now I've got some mechanical advantage when it comes to lifting that extra weight. So instead of sweating it, now all I gotta do is I take my wrap and I jack on this and it goes up. So we're gonna add a little bit of weight on here. I just wanna show you. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take forever. As you can see, <laughs> these little short jerks um, give you a lot of leverage. Sister-in-law couldn't make it, so you gotta look at my brother's ugly mug. <laughs> All right, so let's see how long you can hold here, but I wanna show you one great thing. So now once I've got him up here, it's like, okay, well, we need to lower the branch now. So I gotta take that device off. So I'm gonna go ahead, take a wrap. I'm gonna pull tension, release the lower catch, pull it out, capture the slack. And then as I release the top one, I can pop it right off. And then you, oh, usually I can pop it off. It's kind of, it's kind of stuck. Oh, that one's down. Tension. Grab. Move catch. There we go. That whole thing can pop right off. And now I've got him on the Porter app, and I can just lower him back down. Pretty nifty. Thanks for joining me at Shredded Tree Gear, reviewing the CMI rope jack and giving you a little demonstration. Um, one of the uses that we put it to um, is in Highline Rigging. So I've got a Highline Rigging video if you want to check that out here on my channel. I think I sweat rope to get tension to lift a branch but using the rope jack it would make that process much more quick and efficient so if you want to check that out it's a good one another tip for this is to use it along with the notch uh, porta wrap they make these in a couple different sizes the combination right here is about 500 dollars together and that's two thousand dollars cheaper than a grcs now it's not quite as easy to use but uh, it performs a lot of the same functions as a GRCS, uh, especially for smaller to medium rigging scenarios. Um, and that's why I, I haven't bought one of those yet, although I suspect I will in the future. So thanks again. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'd love to hear what some of your favorite gear is, or if there's gear that you want to see reviewed or demonstrated, check it out. Um, let, me, let me know below. Hit the little bell too if you want to be notified. Um, and hopefully I'll see you guys again next week. Thanks.